Guys, welcome to the Heavy Theater, where my best friend, Diesel Dave, and myself are gonna be sitting here enjoying some of the clips from some of our more wild moments. Outrageous recoveries, stunts, all right, all right, all right. stupid stuff, emotional stuff. Basically, some of the uncut gems, uncut jams. I like gems. <laughs> the reason why we're reviewing some of this footage is because, what does that one let me do? I think we should tell at the same time. It's a lot to say at the same time because you're, you're gonna get a us. chance. Damn it. Oh, we really do the one word thing? Oh, well, we can do that, yeah. <laughs> because you're gonna have the chance to come party with all of us. Yeah! Yeah, no, seriously, this is a real thing. We're watching some of these clips because we want you to see some of the situations and things that we've experienced more so, even better than that, we are gonna pick four of you to come out here an adventure with us. Maybe a recovery, might go explore a gold mine, oh. might go jump off a cliff. Cannonball! <laughs> you don't have to jump off a cliff if you don't want to, but basically what we hear all the time is that you, the viewers, want to come see what it's like to spend a day with us. And so what we're doing is basically switching roles here. Mm -hmm. We are you, and you have a chance to be us. How are we then? We're them because we're the viewer watching us. Okay. And they are the viewer watching us watch ourselves. Watching them. But then... You're watching me watching you. In a minute here, I'm going to tell you how four of you... I don't like the way four looks from the, from that mass. From the back side? Better. Yeah. Four. I'll do Try two. this way. Oh, yeah. Four of you are going to have a chance to come spend the day adventuring with us, vlogging, doing whatever it is. And all you have to do, go to our website, dieselpowergear.com. Place an order. Literally, you can buy a hat, you can buy some socks, you can buy a sticker, whatever it is, we're gonna take every single one of you, I'm gonna put your name in a big old hat. Whatever you buy, use the promo code HEAVY20. All right, that's gonna give you 20% off all the merchandise and more importantly, it's going to give us the ability to track who watched this video to make sure that we're only entering you guys into this drawing. See, we want this to be exclusive. You guys know that we do exclusive things for YouTube viewers only, and this is one of them. This is probably one of the biggest ones. Not only do you get that chance to hang out with us, but right now we're doing 15 times entries. 15 times the entries to win this month's giveaway truck, which is super rad. Tons of sweet B-roll and spinning trucks in my hands right here, yeah, showing you what it here. is. All right, so let's say you don't win one of the four slots to come hang out with us. Well, guess what? You got 15 times the entries to win that badass giveaway truck. Mm -hmm. And you got a 20% discount, and you got to watch us being you watching us. Watching you. Real quick, before we start the show, let's talk about a sore spot for all of us. You guys remember the Power Box giveaway, right? It's a promo that we ran back in like, I wanna say November, and uh, the idea, phenomenal. Mm -hmm. The execution, well, it was our first time ever doing it, and uh, uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't great. Some people had a great experience, but gave away a bunch of stuff, like, like $250,000, $300,000 worth of stuff, including a couple of trucks. One of the trucks went to Canada, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, so guys, with the Powerbox giveaway, we understand that there was a lot of confusion with the way that worked. Anybody who got anything less than basically the value of your box, because we gave away some baseball cards from my entire baseball card collect, or my entire sports card collection, just got shipped out. Um, we had some complaints, people not understanding that if you got a smaller item in your power box, that you automatically were entered to play the next power box for free, meaning we were just gonna ship you the next one completely free. It was like a play again token. Well, that got confusing, but here's the deal. The power box promo, we're taking our time to do it right. And we are so close to having this next one ready. And I promise you, nobody's getting any baseball cards. Nobody's getting anything other than what you kind of expect. We've simplified the list of items that we're gonna be shipping out. And yes, we're gonna be giving away a truck. Everybody technically gets a truck. Did you don't give them away all the details. Long story short, <laughs> we fixed all the errors in the Powerbox promo, and it'll be coming again very soon. So if you've been frustrated with the Powerbox, just like we were, fear not. 
because we took our time, we fixed the problems, we're working out the kinks. Can't say it's gonna be perfect, but I can promise you that it's gonna be significantly better, cooler, more exciting, and I have a feeling that pretty much everybody who gets anything in the, during this next Powerbox promo is gonna be pretty happy with it. Because we spent a lot of money to do this. Mm -hmm. So don't think that you have to replace your order if you got cards last time, because you don't. You're already on the list, you're gonna get your package shipped for free, boom, bam, just like that. Bam, bam, thank you, man. Yes. Man? And the party starts now. Pause it first though and click the link so that you can make sure that you get entered because I don't want you to get distracted by this awesome video then all of a sudden not Push, enter. pause, ready, pause. Why did I go, why didn't I just pause the way I was? I don't know. Do it again. Ready? Pause. <laughs> Got me in my elbow. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, lights, cameras, action! One. <laughs> Mr. Road Rash himself. Well, I got all of his scars. Look at that. What did he think was going to happen there? I don't think he had a plan. That right there. Hold on. Whoa. That is. I that road rash is some of the worst road rash you could possibly get. Want to know why? Salt. Salt rash. Imagine taking a giant salt cube and rubbing it against yourself so hard that it makes you bleed. I'd cry. That, that was brutal. We won't make you guys do that. You could watch Hunter do that, though. You could be there firsthand watching as Hunter... Well, actually, we weren't even there. He filmed that himself. Yeah, he did. That's why we had to go rescue him. Hold on, let's see what... So this was the time that Hunter called us, said his bus was stuck in the middle of the salt flats. The only vehicle we had capable of recovering him, which was, which was big enough, was the Freedom Bus. Yeah. Obviously. Which, why would you use anything else, really? This was the best recovery. This was so awesome. That drone footage is sick. See? We start sinking. He was way more stuck than I thought he was. Boom, yank, Blast tire hitch, hook. bumper, gone. Yep. Was that our monster hook? That was, no, that was the entire hitch on the bus. Oh, so that's this right. time, now we're to the frame. That's right, this is where we originally bent the bumper that yep. is now getting And fixed. then we doubled up the rope because things kept on getting more and more hairy, but look at the bus just chug-a-lugging. Chug -a -lug, that was chug -a, -lug. a sweet recovery. Look how soft it is though. I had to keep pulling him all the way because every time we stop, he'd start to sink again. Oh, dude, how about this one? Oh, no! Hold on. <laughs> Did it show him fall? Yeah. Did I miss it? You missed it. Play it again. Let me go back. Oh, no. Jim down. Oh, Jimbo! Dude, how does he always fall Yoink. off of... It's like he intentionally fell. How he do we get have. multiple angles of it? Did you, did, did, did you guys did plan this? Cartoon legs in the air. <laughs> and then he just laid there, didn't he? Oh, yeah. Yep. Jim doesn't yep. handle falls very well anymore. We'll you make you a promise right now that we will not let you fall off of anything like Jim somehow tends to always do. To also, this Catch video you. was awesome because it was the time that we knocked on a stranger's door and said, hey, you got a lot of cool stuff back there. Do you want to sell it all? Can we have it? And the lady was like, as a matter of fact, yes, I would like to get rid of everything in my backyard. And so we brought in the machines and we started uncovering all sorts of uncut jams. Jams. I still, I'm gonna have to watch that one still. Law tractor sick. We should get that thing running. I regret scrapping that crane so bad because those planetaries are good for monster trucks. Yeah. Remember this one? Yeah. No, you weren't there. You though. You missed out on a party this day. This oh, guy, yeah, this did. excavator had been stuck for 12 weeks. Actually, this guy texted me today and said, hey, can you call me? You might want to stop the video and call him right I should now. probably call him and see what he's got going on because you that was a mess. See, this is a sweet recovery the you guys can be involved mess, yeah. in. This one was fun. This one was a one lot of work. One that we could all be involved in. Technical, use the sandy excavator, bam. Just got stuff falling all over the place. Dude, he was so buried. They, that, that family thought we were Who gonna be that? there. Is that the dude? Yeah, he, him and his wife his were in wife the trench digging, digging with us. Oh, they were awesome. like, no, you guys are going to be here for at least two days. We had him out in like... What, four hours? Four hours, five hours. Had his excavator not been running, I don't know if it ever would have come out, though, because that was like a 100,000-pound machine. Ugh. That was a good recovery, though. I liked that one. That's so like the viewers. You guys love bill. that one. That was one of our biggest... I lost Wild Bill. Whatever. Shh, what? Shh, shh. This one's still pretty fresh with me. We were out there for... Like 12 days, weren't we? Yeah, well, does so it guys, count if I was in the mine the whole listen, time? Listen, this is one of those recoveries that, <clears throat> that was more of like a, 
Well, it was a very emotional experience because we were we had a lead on potentially finding a person who had gone missing, and we turned what was originally like a 10-foot hole into a 200-foot hole. We spent a lot of time, energy, and money, blood, sweat, and tears, and a dislocated shoulder and trying lost to... Lost a lot of beard. Uh, trying to uncover the bottom of this mine to make sure that... Uh, you know, there wasn't a body in there. So this one was very emotional. The Cox family got involved. In fact, we even got Susan Powell's father, uh, Chuck Cox, and uh, he, her aunt down in the mine with us. We didn't coerce them or convince them at all. In fact, I popped up and they were both looking and they were like, hey, we want to go down. And I was like, say that again? I mean, we were coming on up basically riding on a garbage pail hooked to a crane up and down this yeah, gnarly wild. mine shaft. This was so this was wild. a this was a pretty wild recovery, and uh, this is one that you know you guys as viewers, this would have been a fun one. Look at your beard, dude. That's a sexy man. Sexy shot. Too. Yeah. How about Al? Would not get out of the mine shaft. No. That wrecker, absolutely. That was the wrecker's first job. Yeah. Brand new wrecker. We're getting ready to do recoveries, but the next thing you know, we're opening up a mine shaft. Got the measuring tape down there. Hands didn't go in the hole once. Yeah, this was this was absolutely like addicting. Did you find a did you find a taco car down there? <laughs> yeah, this was a this was one hell of a ride for all of us. Look at him. Hey, Chuck, jump in this old garbage pail with us and uh, <laughs> look at Hans's face. He's like, I sure yeah, you down there. I think I rode down with him and one other person, and he actually handled. He like went a down champ. with three. Yeah. Wow. Hey. You could have been one of those people going down there with us. Or, like you I said, be. if that scares you, makes you nervous, you could be up top keeping the fire going with hands. We realized that we do some stuff that maybe is a little outside Not of unsafe. most people's comfort zones. Not unsafe. We had hard hats on. And hard then we reached the bottom. This was a gratifying moment. Oh. Oh, we're moving along. Yep. Right, Cleaning clean up, up public cars. lands. Dude, remember that storm? Yeah, we went a little oh, overboard on I the uh, Cumberland. Which, by the way, Cumberland Sales Company stepped Best. up big time to get us that rigging right in time. How many cars did we end up getting that day? Six? Four? Mm -hmm. Five? I forgot about this boat, too. Oh, yeah. This is the first time we got to test out the new Sisu yeah. Oh, Oh, and World's the battery power little... cheapest car. The one you could buy. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about that. Back when we got that, you could buy those on Alibaba or Wish for like $900. Since then, the price has gone up. But have they gone up? Look Dang. at the three of us cruising downtown. It was a great time. Had a generator strapped to the oh, roof. Oh, we had such good tacos that night. Oh, and then that bolt, but we ran out of battery. Bud pulled us at like 90 miles an hour and got speed wobble. <laughs> oh, oh, the this... mice that were in there. All right, if, listen, if you guys never saw this video, well, Bud, first of all, is an amazing human being. Yep. He's one of the greatest dudes in the world. Just a hardworking, just one of the, he's just a class act. But the camper he was living in at the time wasn't necessarily in the best of conditions. In now, fact, it was. That's not all his fault. That camper's been there for a long time and they just moved Bud in as a new tenant. Pretty sure Bud moved mo most of that stuff, such as the cereal in the oven. Could, I'm just trying to give him a little bit of. Little, little bit of credit? Yeah. But the camper he was living in wasn't ideal, so we sent him on a recovery or on a mission, didn't tell him what was happening. We took his camper. We cleaned out all of his personal belongings, which we found a lot of wild stuff in there. Uh, and this was right around Christmas time, and we decided to surprise Bud with a new home, a new camper that we got from Forest River. Mm -hmm. from Forest, Forest River. River RV. But the real surprise was Bud didn't know this was happening, and we hooked up his camper, took it to a remote location, mm -hmm. and said, Bud, we need you to meet us at this spot because you need to drop off something or another. And as soon as he pulled up, then yeah. watch this. Bud pulls up. And he has no idea what's going on. Boom. We blew the ever-living shit out of Bud's camper. <laughs> As he pulled up, didn't know it was there, didn't know what was happening. No, that's not my camper. That's your camper, Mark. No, it's not. That is not my camper. Watch it. No, it's not my camper. Watch it. That is not my camper. <laughs> Whistling Diesel had a Hilux. Toyota Hilux that he was trying to prove how tough they were, which he certainly did until, oh. until this moment. This was the moment where we determined that a Hilux is not completely indestructible as it fell, boom, Doosh. pancake flat. Oh, and then oh, a yeah. race. Helicopter versus the oh, Strad Man. Man. If you go to DeesePowerGear.com right now and place an order and get entered for a chance to win both a giveaway truck and a chance to come film with us for a day, you 
might be able to be part of one of these collab videos because we do have something coming up with Stratman pretty soon. Nice. Which is another race, which is going to be awesome. And we've always got stuff brewing with Whistling Diesel. So just huge shout out to both those guys, Strad and Cody. A couple of good dudes. Stradman put his freaking car and his nuts on the line to race against me and then lost. What was this? Oh, the dually. We put dualies on the helmet to go rescue the old sailboat. Probably Jim. Jim or Bud. It looked like They're Al always for some on the four Oh. oh man. Do we even want to talk about this this part? All right, so it's got a happy ending. It, it does have a happy ending. It. it took a while though. So long story short, back in the 80s, a crane was on a boat in the Great Salt Lake. The, there was a shipwreck because there was more water back then. It tipped over, tipped the crane into the water, and the crane had been sitting on the lake bed since the 80s. Well, we work with the state of Utah very closely to clean up public lands, and they said, hey, this crane, it's finally exposed enough to the point where we can, you know, safely go out and recover it without getting stuck in, you know, driving through water. So we had this new wrecker that the Same we had from the just Powell. barely used on the Susan Powell job. Mm -hmm. This was his first heavy recovery. And this was me getting way too excited. And <laughs> A, I rigged from not a very smart point. Like, it wasn't a great spot to pull from. B, I had the boom extend way too far. C, the outriggers weren't working correctly. So this was the day that we basically tore the bed completely off of our brand new record on its first recovery. So then we almost got the crane back. Almost got it back. It took forever to get it flipped over and then Storm of the century hit. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Look at this. Come on, baby. Come on. Flipped. Bam. This oh. one was just a little bit fun. Yeah, this one cost me fifteen spray. grand. So we spray the fire. This out. is this is some of the stuff that uh, we do just around the office as like employee incentive. Like I told everybody uh, that last man standing would get a thousand bucks as I shot them with uh, was it two or three or four thousand gallon mm -hmm. per minute fire truck pump. So maybe if you want, we could have you be part of something like this. Might make some money. Yeah, Hunter got annihilated. Oh yeah, oh. this is one another collab we did. Had Jake and Logan Paul out for the weekend. And Ethan doing backflips on dirt on Ethan snow Roberts bikes. doing a backflip on a timber sled over Jake Paul on his birthday, shooting automatic weapons with Neil and Casey from Ready Gunner, helicopters, sky skydiving, that, snowmobiling. That was wild. Oh Sick, a bomb pop commercial. Here's the deal. And it's a big deal. You should come party with us. And we're making it really easy for you to do. All you have to do, you guys remember? Tell us. Read it back. That's right. Yep, it's in the description Go below. Click on that link. Mm -hmm. Just it's the link that could just yeah. easily click. Oh. If you forget, you can just go to the website, but there's a link below. It's pretty yeah. easy to click. Super easy. Place an order, right? Use the promo code HEAVY20. That way we can track who's watching and who's actually, you know, engaging with us. You're gonna get a 20% discount. You can get 15 times the entries to win this month's giveaway truck. And most importantly, four of you lucky sons of guns are gonna get your name thrown in the hat and we're gonna pull you out. Yoink. And, but it's a bunk. Zip. You. <coughs> Sorry. You're everywhere. Lucky winner, right here. Could be you. Boing. Oh, I thought I had, yeah, yours is better than mine. It's still boing. <laughs> that, one, that guy's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> so, I hope the message is crystal clear. We want to party with you. We don't want you just to watch us all the time. We want you to come be part of the action. So if you're interested, click the link in my description below. You know the rest. It's that easy. All right.